Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix microphone not working in OBS. You should also be able to follow this method in Streamlabs OBS. Let's get into the method. Firstly, we'll check the setup and settings within OBS. So open this now and look in the audio mixer section for your microphone. If you don't see it, then you don't need to follow this step. But if you do, look for it in the sources section and right click on it and choose remove. Now confirm this, and then everyone can follow the next steps onwards. Click on the plus icon below the sources section and choose audio input capture from the list. Give this a name such as microphone and click on OK. You now need to select your microphone from the drop down box. If you're not sure what it's called or which it is from the list, open the sound settings in Windows and look in the input section. With it selected within OBS, click on OK. You should now see your mic in the audio mixer and first check that your mic is not muted by toggling the volume icon. You can also change the volume here if that is causing a problem. You'll see the audio levels increasing when you make sound, so you can adjust it based on this. Check your mic doesn't have a physical mute button if you don't see the levels changing. Next, click on the three dots icon for your microphone in the audio mixer and select Advanced Audio Properties from the list. Check that these settings look correct, such as the balance being central, and if you need to boost the volume you can do it here as well. Before closing this box, ensure that at least one of the audio track boxes are checked. You might want to check them all whilst we try and fix the mic. Click on Close and test your mic now. Now open the main OBS settings page by clicking on the settings button in the bottom right. In here, first head to the output section and change the option at the top to advanced. In the streaming tab, check that track 1 is selected. In the recording tab, check that at least audio track 1 is selected, or make sure that these line up with the tracks you selected earlier. Click on apply or OK and test your mic again now. Back in the settings, choose audio from the left side and you might want to try using a different sample rate for example change to 44.1 kHz instead of 48. Click on OK or Apply and test your mic. We'll now look at some potential fixes outside of OBS within Windows. First we can check that your microphone is detected on your PC and set as default. In Windows 11 open the Settings app, then choose System from the left, then Sound, and then scroll down and click on More Sound Settings. In Windows 10, right click on the volume icon in the taskbar and choose sounds. Both versions of Windows should now have the same window open and you need to click on the recording tab and then find your microphone on the list. Once you've found it, click on it once and choose set as default. If you can't find your microphone on the list, then I'd recommend watching another video of mine that will help fix microphone not detected problems. Click the card or follow the link in the description to watch that video. Try speaking into your mic and check if the levels change here. If they don't, have another check that there's not a mute button on the microphone itself. If it appears to work here, click on OK to close this window and we'll move on to some more fixes. Next, we'll check the microphone permissions on your PC. Search for Microphone Privacy Settings in the search bar and open this settings page. First, turn on the top toggle switch called Microphone Access, and then also turn on the one below this called Let Apps Access Your Microphone. Now scroll down through the list and see if you can find OBS and make sure that it is turned on. Finally, scroll down again and enable the toggle switch called Let Desktop Apps Access Your Microphone. You'll need to restart OBS to test this out. The final methods to try would be to restart your PC if you haven't already, and you could try uninstalling and then reinstalling OBS to see if this helps. Unfortunately, those are all of the methods I have. As always, I'll keep the description updated with any new solutions I find, and if any of you find a fix in the future, then it would be great if you could return to the video and post it in the comments to help others. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways to speed up your Windows PC. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below, and if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like, and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.